Why? What is Izzy Fabulous wearing? What is this? Like, what are you? You are like some weird Star Wars creature, and you're just like showed up in the bar with this on your head? Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Hethwin and today we are back to play some more of our Pratt Howard family that we started to explore the Growing Together expansion pack that recently came out for The Sims 4. In our last episode, the two boys, Lucas and Leo, both aged up and had birthdays. And we also discovered that Caroline and her partner, Shayla, are expecting another child. And we're hoping that this time we have a baby girl to kind of go along with our two boys. So coming on over here, we have got Lucas, who is a child now, and he is asleep, and Leo, who is a toddler and is awake. And I don't know why he's awake, because it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Why are you guys all awake? It's 3 a.m., because this kid is not tired at all. Excellent. Very good. But Caroline is tired and needs to sleep. Shayla remarkably is not, but probably should go to bed because Shayla is a budding barrister in the law career. They moved together to San Sequoia from San Maishuno after Shayla graduated law school and they have been pursuing things in the law career ever since. They recently just passed the bar exam and became a full-fledged lawyer, so they're really excited about that development. But I think we really need to get everybody sleeping so that, you know, people are wet rested for work and school and what have you come morning. Okay, so we have learned that Leo is a light sleeper. Leo seems to sleep more lightly than other toddlers. Toddlers who are light sleepers have a tendency to wake up randomly when sleeping and will need to be put back to sleep if they are still tired. He actually isn't still tired, but he does need to go potty. Let's have Caroline get up and come and potty train Leo because we want to catch that before he poops his pants. So Caroline is pregnant. She is in still in her first trimester so she's pretty early in her pregnancy and this is her third child she is feeling very confident though she conquered a fear oh a new family dynamic strict when it comes to caroline and leo a sense of order seems to abound as the younger sim has a deep respect for their older family member often meeting the older sims higher expectations so we're gonna say yes to this which is actually kind of interesting because if we look at lucas she has a more permissive relationship with Lucas, so she lets Lucas get away with a little bit more, whereas with Leo, she's a little bit stricter. And Lucas has woken up because it is getting close to time for him to head off to school. So Lucas has one of the new childhood aspirations that came with growing together. He is a creative genius. So the Sim wants to build their creative and mental skills to inspire innovation and play. They are focused on a combination of mental and creativity skills during childhood. They can paint, write, program, and write songs faster, and any writer's block will vanish more quickly if they get the reward trait. So he wants to play pretend in a treehouse and achieve level three of the creativity skill. Now, we did start building a treehouse in the yard for Lucas. We haven't gotten very far with it, so that still needs to be worked on. But we have got a treehouse going. Now, Lucas, as a toddler, loved books. So he is a bookworm. He also has high confidence. So he's learned to believe himself. He was a top-notch infant. So Lucas really is kind of like thriving as a child due to the way that Shayla and Caroline have raised him. So Shayla is going to head off to work for today. So we'll have them get up and get around. And we're gonna send Lucas off to elementary school. While Shayla works in the law career and has just <laughs> set off to their job, Caroline is an author. She writes children's books and publishes them, and a lot of them are kind of inspired from her own children. So Lucas and Leo have really inspired a lot of the books that she has written. And so that's worked out really well for their family because Shayla leaves the home to go to work in the law career, but then Caroline is able to stay home, work on her books, but also be very involved in the raising of the boys and their children and hasn't had to like send them off to daycare and has been able to really raise and take care of them herself. Caroline just got a call from the school 
In lab, Lucas's science experiment exploded and made a big mess, along with frightening another student. We think that he did it on purpose. Now, Caroline isn't entirely sure if Lucas would have done this on purpose or not. Lucas certainly had some issues when Leo was born. He got kind of aggressive surrounding his brother. He was jealous, and there was definitely some tension that existed initially when he was a toddler. So it could be that maybe some of that has kind of carried over a little bit. Caroline definitely would not say no real harm done, but I think that she's going to have him apologize to the other student because she isn't going to want him to be doing things that are harmful to others. That's not how she's raising her children. So I think that's what she's going to do. And then also because she has a permissive parenting style with Lucas, she's not necessarily going to say he needs to get in trouble because it isn't really consistent with her parenting style. So I think that that makes the most sense. Okay, Caroline has reached parenting level nine, which is good. She still needs to discipline her child or toddler or teen one more time in order to and she's almost maxed her parenting skill uh two kids will do that for you so caroline is taking some time to teach leo how to talk and work on leveling up his communication skill with him and she is kind of tired so she is going to have a little bit of a nap and uh, leo is going to as well nap time for everybody Okay, Lucas has come home from school and he is now a B student, so good job Lucas. He's feeling really energized from an exciting school day and he's gotten good grades and he is trusting the universe because from his top-notch infant trait. So now that Lucas is home, I think we're going to have him and Caroline come outside and we're going to have her teach him how to ride a bike. So he did get a bike for his birthday that he had recently, and he does really want to learn how to ride it. So he and Caroline are going to come out here, and together they are going to work on riding this bike. And this will be good too, because with another child on the way, there's a really good chance of Lucas, again, starting to kind of feel overshadowed by a sibling. So I think it's probably a good thing that he gets a little bit of this attention from Caroline. So she is definitely out here encouraging him in his bike riding as he's working on it around the yard. He's looking pretty wobbly. He's having a little bit of a tough time, but he is trying. He's making a valiant effort to learn how to ride this bike. Okay, Lucas has reached level three of the motor skill and Shayla has come home from work. And since Shayla's home and Leo needs to go potty, we're gonna send her in to potty train Leo while Caroline is out here working on bike riding with Lucas. Well, Lucas has been getting his motor skill up pretty well through all of this. And he is done though, he's getting kind of hungry and he also needs to do his homework. So Caroline's gonna come in and make some dinner. And Shayla, for their next promotion, it needs to reach level five of the research and debate skill and then level two of the charisma skill. So I think while Caroline is making dinner, we'll have her come and practice debate in the mirror and work on that while Lucas sits outside and does his homework. Oh no, he's feeling angry because he was struggling to ride a bike. Which, it, you know, he'll get there eventually, but he's feeling kind of frustrated with that right now. But he's also still feeling confident because he has that high confidence. So he feels confident, but he's also a bit frustrated because it's taking him longer to figure out how to ride a bike than he would like. He has come in and asked Caroline for some help with his homework because dinner is ready, but he is not quite done yet. And he really wants to get his homework done before she, he eats. And Caroline's like, you can eat. It's okay. But then she's like, all right, let me just help you. We'll get this done. And then you can have dinner. As it is getting late, Shayla is going to come in and read Leo to sleep before going to sleep herself. They still need to get some skills up before they are fully ready to get promoted, but they need to go to bed. So we have woken up with a dirty toilet and a broken shower that Caroline is working on taking care of. Uh, she is repairing the, the shower and she really needs a shower, but it broke when Lucas took a shower. Oh, and we've also learned that Leo is an early riser, so he seems to rise naturally with the sun. Which means, what are his quirks? 
So he is a little singer, a light sleeper, and an early riser, and it looks like he needs a bath as well. All right, Lucas is heading off to school. Hopefully, Caroline doesn't get any calls from the school. He had a little bit of a tantrum this morning when he took a shower. He didn't want to take a shower, and then the shower broke. So he had a little bit of an issue, but hopefully he's off to a better start for today. Caroline is now in her second trimester, so things are a little bit a little bit tougher for her. She's feeling the pregnancy a little bit more and being pregnant and caring for a toddler and a child on top of it is definitely a challenge, making this pregnancy harder than her other two. Right now that Caroline has bathed herself, has gotten the broken things fixed in the bathroom, things clean, now it's time to clean Leo, who is very stinky and in desperate need of a bath. So she is giving him a little bath and trying to get him cleaned up and then hopefully she will have some more time to work on her latest children's book. And in fact, Caroline is going to take Leo and they're gonna head over to the library here in San Sequoia so that he can play and look at books here in the library, maybe uh, interact with some other children and she can work on her book while still keeping an eye on him but kind of letting him socialize a little bit as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there are any other toddlers here in the play place at the library. Leo's kind of okay with that. He's playing with toys all on his own. But it is almost time for Lucas to come home from school and Leo is starting to get a little bit sleepy. So Caroline and Leo are going to head back to the house so Lucas so Leo can have a little bit of a nap and then she can be there when Lucas comes home as well. Okay, Lucas has come home. He's had an okay day of school. He still needs to get his creativity up, so we're going to have him come and play with a toy and get see if we can get his creativity up. We could also, we've got a little bit of money. We could buy him a like an instrument of some kind. We could get him a little violin. That's a possibility. Or we could also see about buying a piano that could be an idea so we got this upright piano that came in the new expansion so we could potentially like put this here in the house somewhere i don't know where so we did spend a decent amount of money and we purchased this piano so we are gonna have L lucas come and practice playing the piano he really loves books. He is really creative. And so he's going to kind of exercise a little bit of that creativity through playing the piano. He expressed an interest in it. So Line and Shayla purchased one. One of the additions that I believe actually came in the base game update is the ability for children to learn like real skills. So they still have their fundamental skills that they've always learned, their creativity, their mental, motor, and social skill, but also there are certain adult skills that they start to have the ability to learn as children. So for example, as Lucas is here playing the piano, he's getting his creativity skill, but he's also earning some piano skill. So that means that as he is going to play the piano all through his childhood, when he becomes a teenager, it's not like he's starting all over again, which makes sense because if you played the piano as a child, you wouldn't lose that ability once you aged up. And he has now reached level three of the creativity skill, which he needed to do. And Leo has also got hit level two of the potty skill, so he can go potty on his own, which will make things a little bit easier for Caroline as she has to go to the bathroom herself so we're going to need to get her in going to the bathroom and getting something to eat. All right, Shayla is home. They're feeling a little bit tense. They need some fun. They need some food. They also want to go out on a date with their spouse again. So maybe instead of eating here at home, maybe we'll have Shayla ask Caroline out on a date and they can go somewhere on a date and do something fun and they can also kind of complete that part of of their aspiration. We're gonna head over to Windenburg and let's go to the Old Quarter Inn. It's like a little pub. They're gonna go, they're gonna order some food, they're gonna hang out, spend some time together, and hopefully get Shayla's fun up a little bit. So they are talking a little 
And Caroline is asking Shayla about their day, just to kind of see how things have been going. And Shayla's like, you know, this is, the job has gotten a lot harder than I expected, but I still really like it. It's just, it's really stressful. And I'm really glad that we are able to kind of get out away from the kids and just spend some time together. I know we've got another child on the way, but having a little bit of time with you is really meaningful and important to me. So they've come over and are playing foosball with each other and having a little bit of fun, which is really nice. Shayla's really feeling like they needed to kind of unwind and un relax. They're feeling inspired because they're very close to Caroline. Even though there's been a little bit of difficulty sometime, Shayla can be a little bit flirty and that has caused some issues because Shayla has flirted in front of Caroline with some other people and that's left Caroline feeling a little bit jealous at times but all in all they really do have a very close relationship with each other and they enjoy spending time together and most importantly raising their family together. As you can see Shayla is happy from family time because of the kids Shayla became family oriented they weren't to begin with but they just loved spending so much time with their family that their focus started to shift towards their family why what is Izzy fabulous wearing what is this like what are you you are like some weird Star Wars creature and you're just like showed up in the bar with this on your head all right that's interesting the afterlife can be tough. Come tell the local bartender all about it and enjoy discounted libations. It's ghost night. Yes, Caroline and Shayla are going to make out in the closet. They don't get a whole lot of romance time with two boys and Caroline expecting, so they're gonna make out in the closet. I mean, the ghost of Mortimer Goth has showed up for ghost night in the bar. I wonder how Mortimer died. And Felix Psyched has also shown up as a ghost. Okay. Yeah, it is definitely ghost night here in the bar. We have Dominique Soto, Felix Psyched, Victor Fang, and Mortimer Goth's ghosts all here. Victor's ghost is sad. Mortimer's a little flirty, it looks like. He looks kind of pink. And these two in here are playful. So we've got ghost night. It's an interesting uh, way to have a date. Why is Victor Fang going into the closet? What's he doing in there? He... He just went in by himself. Why did he go in the closet by himself? I think he's crying. He's a sad ghost. Oh, we've got another ghost. Uh, this is Mikiko Saki. Alright, so as great as this date has been, it's been a little weird. Oh, there's more ghosts that are arriving. I think it's time to leave. The ghost of Dirk Dreamer has now arrived. We're gonna go home. Alright, they have come back home from their date. Caroline is hungry and tired, so we'll let her get something to eat. They didn't really eat much while they were at the bar. Uh, they were just a little bit more into their spending that time together than anything else. The boys are going to bed. It is quite late, and then they both need to go to bed as well. Everybody needs to be going to sleep. Although it is Harvest Fest tomorrow in-game, which actually I think will be a really good opportunity for Shayla and Caroline and Lucas to finish building their treehouse and get that done for him because he did get it for his birthday, but with Shayla working and Caroline being pregnant and needing to care for Leo, they haven't really had an opportunity to work on it anymore just because there hasn't been time after school and work. But since everybody has the day off tomorrow, I think that would be a good time for them to work on that treehouse. Uh-oh, Leo has woken up. He has had a nightmare. Uh, and it looks like he's going to come in and wake up Caroline to get a little bit of comfort because he had a bad dream. Oh, poor little guy. He also has to go potty. So he's gone in and he's like, Mom, I had a bad dream. And Caroline, of course, is very pregnant and is going to get up and tend to him. She's going to give him some comfort and be like, you'll be okay. It was just a bad dream. And then she's going to take him in and go potty. Leo is already starting to feel better from trusting the universe. He had such a good infanthood and because Caroline is here attending to him and taking care of him, he is feeling happy and after he finishes going potty, he'll be ready to go back to sleep.
So Caroline is kind of tucking him back in bed and reading him a story to help him go back to sleep. She's reading about snooty kitty cats and helping him have more pleasant dreams. Okay, it is Harvest Fest and Lucas has woken up. He is curious about these gnomes that have shown up around. He definitely is wanting to interact with the holiday gnomes. So he is going to come out and give the Grim Reaper gnome some pie. We have decorated the house a little bit for the Harvest Fest holiday. We've got some lights up outside. We've got some fall harvesty decorations inside the house to kind of make things feel a little bit more festive. Lucas has successfully appeased the don't fear the Grim Reaper gnome. Shayla is uh, discovering that they are a bit squeamish. Uh, Shayla's squeamish at the moment and doesn't appear to have the stomach for th gross things or creepy crawlers. I mean, sure, you can be squeamish. I don't know, is the, the tub dirty maybe? The tub is dirty and they're taking a bath and they're now a bit squeamish. They're gonna come though and appease this gnome and give it some coffee. We've got a awake little Leo in here. He doesn't care too much about the holiday. He is going to look at his book, however. And then we'll also have Caroline come in and appease the bunny gnome and give that gnome some salad. And then she really needs to go pee. So Lucas is already like wanting to work on the treehouse. He's like twitching and like really wanting to. But Shayla and Caroline are both like, we need to take care of ourselves. Shayla needs a shower and Caroline needs to eat a little bit. So they're like, we need to get ready, we need to have a little bit of breakfast, and then we can go out and work on building your treehouse. Caroline probably will make a grand meal later, but for now, she's just going to eat a little bit of fruit salad and get ready to go work on that treehouse. Meanwhile, Lucas is going to practice riding his bike in the house. He did this before. I feel like this isn't a good idea, especially- Oh my god, he just rode through the refrigerator! Lucas, don't do this. This is bad. Stop. I think Shayla and Caroline are like, Alright, let's go build the treehouse. Everybody come build the treehouse. Alright, well, it is a kind of gloomy fall day, but it is quite warm, so it is an ideal time to work on building the treehouse. And even Leo is coming out to see, like, what all is going on. Lucas is kind of over here supervising the work that Shayla and Caroline are doing as they're building the treehouse. Oh no, Lucas is feeling tense from the stressies, from a strict family dynamic. You can, Lucas usually respects the authority of his older family members and follows the rule, but the high expectation that comes from such a good reputation can be very stressful at times. So... Lucas and Shayla have a strict family dynamic, so that's probably what he is feeling with this. Leo is very interested in what has been is going on. He has come out, he is watching his parents build the treehouse with his brother, and he is going to get to kind of experience and use the treehouse himself when he gets a little bit older. So while it was kind of for Lucas's birthday, it's definitely something that all of the kids are going to get a chance to enjoy. And Leo is, like, right there in the thick of all of it. And the treehouse is complete! Lucas now has his treehouse. He can set decorations. I think we'll have him do... Let's have him do pirate hideout decorations. It kind of seems like him. And let's see. We can... Treehouse entry and exit. So we can climb down the ladder, climb up the ladder... Oh no, Lucas has gone up to Shayla and said, last recess, nobody wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? Lucas is a bit of a bookworm, and so he's maybe not the most social. He also is a little bit hard of hearing. He has a hearing device, and so maybe he's feeling left out. And I think Shayla would encourage him to ask the other kids if he can join in. And he gained some conflict resolution. All right, oh, it looks like Caroline has climbed up here. So we can nap in the enclosure, sleep, relax, or play. We can set admission rules. We can play pretend. Let's have him play pretend in the pirate hideout. He does want to play in the 
treehouse as part of his creative genius aspiration. I love how Leo, though, and Caroline are just, like, having this conversation while she's up in the treehouse. Oh, this is cute. Lucas is up here playing pretend. He's gaining confidence. He's also gaining the creativity skill as he's up here playing. And Caroline is kind of hanging out up here with him. This is such a cute little interaction. I love that. Okay, that did count for the creative genius. So now he needs to reach level three of the mental skill, which he has done, and stargaze. So we need to place down a small telescope or an observatory and click on it during the night and choose stargaze. Now, I do know that you can get the telescope and you can actually slot it in here in the treehouse. And we have just enough money to get it. All right, let's put the tree that here in the treehouse and then Lucas will be able to stargaze later. So it is Harvest Fest and Caroline is in her third trimester. So she is like going to have this baby really at any point in time. So she's like so close to giving birth. Right, Caroline has gone into labor, so it is time for this baby to be born, and she's just gonna take the trash out, I guess. I mean, okay, go take the trash out. That's fine. But we are going to have her go and have the baby at the hospital, and Shayla is, of course, going to go with her, and they are gonna have their third child. And Shayla is having a little bit of a pre-parental panic. Caroline is exhausted. This labor, this whole pregnancy has been so hard on her. She's just feeling really tired. And Shayla's trying to be as encouraging as they possibly can be. All right, here we go. It is time. Caroline is coming back. We have got the doctor here. And baby number three for Caroline and Shayla is about to be born. Will it be a boy? Or will it be a girl? And it's a girl! Yay! We were really hoping that Shayla and Caroline were going to have a girl. They've already had the two boys with Lucas and Leo. So a girl is exactly what we were hoping for. And we are going to name her Lily. And it is just one baby, thankfully. I really did not want twins. So we have had a little baby girl. We've got little Lily right here for Shayla and Caroline. And look at that. You can see that she has green eyes like her brothers do. Now, I think with the birth of little Lily and Shayla and Caroline having their third and final child, we are going to end the episode here. Let me know what you think about the latest addition to the family. I'm really excited that we get to have a girl and can see how that goes. I've been trying to think about how many more episodes left of this I want to do, and I'm thinking maybe two or three more. I want to get Lucas to be a teenager, and then I think that's the point at which we will end it, because I think we'll have seen a lot of a lot of what we can see with this expansion. This is one of those expansion packs that I really think is going to be quite a staple in The Sims, and you're really going to need it to really enhance your gameplay, and I would highly recommend it. I've enjoyed it quite a bit. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!